Got Jesse right here. Hello, I'm Jesse, and today we are going to be working on the motor to the gas valve. So I have figured out that there was no such thing as a as as a condition a conditional a conditional HG red zone tank. I figured out magic tanks do exist in this imagination because I have got a way to make a magic tank appear. You might have probably found out that these poles I climbed have wires, but I couldn't even reach up there. Instead, I just fall down and I don't get hurt at all. But if you touch this wire, you absolutely can get hurt. There's electricity flowing through that. That's why you can't touch it, because it's dangerous. It'll electrocute you. I, myself, could find where the streetlights come on at. And it's probably right back here. Right back here, you will see a post with a light right there. But I'm not talking about that light. Right back here, you would see... You would see a through the you would see a light post back there. Looks like that shape as a through the light. It's probably a particular it's probably a, a a particular kind of light post. Yo, what is that? That's a stick. A particular kind of light post? Yeah, it's a particular kind of light post. Um this is the first factory light. I just saw, I just seen it. You walk back here and there's like several street lights. You walk this way, there's an evil street light. So turn back around. We're not going that way because you never know if it will turn on at night and hurt people. It comes alive and hurts people. So we got to walk this way and stay away from that tactical street light. Okay, sounds good. We gotta stay away from that captical street light because those types of lights are evil and they could hurt you. What you see back there, you see how the light is turning orange, you see how the light is glowing? Stay from back there because those lights will hurt you to death. That's why you should not go in there. You see how we're far away from the evil light? That's the evil light. But we are gonna walk this way to get away from the evil lights. You can only go a distance, which is okay. Well, some people say that, but no, you should not go that way at all. But yes, it is okay to only go a certain distance. And we're not there anymore. We just got away from the evil street lights. You see how that light is probably on for many substitutes? It's because evil street lights are bad and they're dangerous. And that's why you should never ever go in near anybody's house because you never know if there will be an evil street light coming on or not. Rather, if the evil street light is on or not, it is still glowing. You have to stay with your family and you have to stay with you have to stay here with a trusted adult. I'm not a trusted adult. I'm a child, but you have to stay with Henry the protective child so that's where you have to stay don't go in near anybody else's house because you never know if an evil street light may be on if it's on don't go in near it okay I have figured out that going in near that is bad you should not go in near it because look what you see back there that's the evil street light you want to go back there to find out no I don't well then stay from back there because those things can hurt people real bad. Stay from back there because you never know if it's going to be bad or not. Rather, if they're on or not, stay from back there. Okay, I will stay from back there. But we're going to get some type of we're going to get some type of way to break that street light and kick that street light out of the land so that it can't bother you no more. We have to have some factors hook a hot water tank up to that thing and it's so that the hot water tank could burn the street light to death.
I wasn't even talking about killing lights. Well, you have to, well, we have to kill lights. If we don't kill lights, the street light's going to have enough electricity to beat our butts. So we have to kill the lights or else the wires are going to have enough electricity to whoop our behinds. So yeah.